In this video we are going to learn about another feature related to the Animal Live Link. When we are working in our projects, usually we work with cameras and cameras movement. Whether we are working with still rendering or animation rendering, cameras are a very important aspect of this kind of project. So, what if we can or could work with the same camera point of views inside Anima? This would be very nice indeed. So let's see and how to do this hmm, through the live link. So first of all we need to load the anima project scene we need to work with. We need to synchronize it with a 3D application in this case 3ds Max okay and let's go to 3ds Max itself. Okay we have the same scene here okay so now what we need is just to create a camera. Hmm? I will do this hmm, just by creating a camera point of view from my perspective view okay so something like something like like this okay I will create a camera hmm? physical camera in this case hmm? so as you can see here the safe frame and showing the camera view that's right now here we have two viewports at the bottom the camera at the top the viewport uh, with the perspective view okay so i can move the camera adjust it no problem at all i will save it hmm? and now actually we don't have to do anything else because as soon as we create a camera inside 3ds max we go back to anima and since we are synchronized hmm, a new icon appears at the top left of the viewport this icon here this camera icon camera preview Okay, so we can left click on it and we have exactly the same point of view with the same aspect ratio hmm, from the 3D has max scene. Now, if we play the animation, well, the simulation is being calculated and the animation is being played. Okay, and everything we are uh, seeing through the lenses of this custom camera. Now, as you can see here, always at the top left, we have a little drop down menu arrow. This is for when we have more than one camera, okay? So we can use multiple cameras without problems. Now, to go back to the perspective view, it's very simple. We left click on this camera icon and that's it. And to go back to the camera view, well, again, left click on the camera icon and that's it. Now, this is for still cameras, but what about camera movements? Well, it's exactly the same. We go back to 3ds Max and we animate this camera. We create a camera movement. So I'm going to enable the auto key. I will create the first position key. I will go to the end of the timeline, which length is exactly the same as the one in Anima. Okay. And now I change my, anim my camera point of view here. Okay. Something like this should be should be fine okay just i will scrub the timeline just to be sure it works so it's okay i will refine here my camera movement okay this is of course all possible as you can see it's very simple and now i have my camera movement exactly as i want hmm? let's save it just to be sure and then let's go back to anima and now, if you remember, this was not the point of view we had before, because we already are mm, along the timeline. So if I move this, scrub the timeline, as you can see here, we have the same movement we have in 3ds Max, same camera, same aspect ratio, while the animations here in Anima has, are played. So this way, we are able to focus on what the actual camera is actually seeing and not anything else okay so as you can see it's very very simple of course everything you have seen here it's possible because we have this icon here that tells us that the synchronization be between anima and 3ds max is active okay and of course we can keep working in the perspective view and then going here in the camera preview and then have a look to this animation and how it works with our work inside Anima. So for this video we stop here, I'll see you in the next one.